Harrison with you, and this is about nature. Not the nature of the current existing environment, but about the environment of the future. That's why we're here right now in Houston, Texas at the Shell Oil Eco Marathon, where students have come from all over the world to demonstrate their custom-made vehicles, which get, in some cases, three, four, five, six, seven thousand miles per gallon. We're also gonna have a quick conversation with the head of Shell Oil Corporation and find out what their plan is with all of this for you in the future. The city of Houston's turned the street around the city's eco park into a, a makeshift racetrack for student-made mileage magnets, these handcrafted vehicles capable of reaching thousands of miles per gallon. These students, many of whom mere teenagers, have a scientific prowess that some commercial scientists would covet. Well, that's Italian for a thousand miles a gallon. Now, this little baby I'm sitting in is called Philippe's Bulldozer, and it was built by high school students at Granite Falls High School. And this works on diesel, such as we use in our regular cars today, but they found a way to expand its capabilities. So I think it's time to take the head of Shell Oil Company for a little of his own lap around the track and uh, see how that feels. What do you think, guys? Yeah! Go diesel! <laughs> the president of Shell Oil Company says looking at miles per gallon is nothing new. This challenge around how far can you go on a gallon of gasoline started in Shell over 50 years ago. So I mean, this is a couple of scientists sitting around a table that challenged each other. 1939. Right, and so now that's grown up into a, an event here that takes place in three parts of the world. So we do it here in the Americas, we do it in, in Europe, and we do it in Asia. Now, I hear that there was a car that was made that got 8,000 miles per gallon. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it just blows your mind about what's possible. Huh? Twenty-year-old Cheyenne here is racing also, and you've been able to, as a young scientist, come up with improved miles per gallon. What are you guys getting, and what do you think the average person is going to be able to get a few years from now? Well, our first, our first lap we got around 1,300 miles per gallon. This one we're looking more towards 1,800. So I'd say realistically, maybe in a few years, maybe people can get like 500 miles per gallon, which would be a lot better than what we get nowadays, what, like 25, 30? On a really good day, downhill with the ignition off. Right. <laughs> Quick, increase the frequency of the vertical compression chamber. I think I got it, sir. Good. As you can see, we're lending a hand here too, as these brilliant young scientists are coming up with brand new ways with this handcrafted vehicle to increase miles per gallon. No longer is this a dream, thousands of miles per gallon, it's now a reality. And the University of Houston, these guys are part of that answer. Harrison with you, live as we continue onward and upward because the elevator only goes up from here. All right, guys.